Look, mm. let's talk of being up for eviction. Were you surprised? Do you know what's so interesting is the fact that because I am, you know, like I don't have harm in my body. Like I wasn't doing anything to make anyone go, oh, she, she's, you know, you know, stirring the pot or, you know, she's not sharing the food. Like I was doing backflips to make sure the house ran in a, you know, a joyful way that it was, it was, yeah, it was, it was a bit confusing while it was up the nomination. And especially now looking at what I've seen, I'm like, you should have put the votes on Joel because you would have had enough votes. And he was a strong, strong player. So, yeah, yeah silly, silly. Why would you, why would you, uh, get rid of a kitten when you could have got rid of the tiger? Yeah, very true. <laughs> why, why do you think you were put up, Mel? Well, there was a few things that kind of made me like, oh, okay. Uh, they said I was dangerous, like as in, you know, I'm like I'm a threat. Oh. Uh, I guess likable. Um, but also I think if I were to get to top three, um, being a flight attendant for 10 years, I've made a lot of connections. And I think um, I think a lot of people would have rallied behind me and, um, you know, they would have been like, let's have someone, you know, that is different to everything we've seen before. Um, and, it, yeah, well, that's what that's what I think. Or the fact that maybe they just thought I was a fence sitter and I wasn't making, you know, enough uh, cutthroat decisions. I don't know, Amber. Your guess is as good as me. But it's, it's in, interesting because I could, you know, guess and talk to you about the what is. But in actual fact, I just think that they knew what they wanted all along. Yeah, and look, you had a second chance to fight for your place. How hard was that challenge? Extremely hard. Like, I looked at it and I went, got to be kidding me. Like, I actually thought Ashton Kudrow was, like, somewhere in the, you know, in the in the arena. I was thinking to myself, am I being punked? Like, <laughs> do you see the physical strength in me to do this? I don't, you know. Yeah. Like, I can't, even, oh, I can't even tell you how much I looked at it and I wanted to just be like, are you kidding me? But this is just this is just out of my league. Um, I I think I participated. I'm, I think I, I saw myself do a few tires, but <laughs> I honestly, like my mind was like, yeah, I need to be in a happy place right now because it is it is really really destroying my spirit because I just was like, this is like throwing you know a mouse in a in in with tigers. It was just it was just hor- it was horrible, 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 horrible. Yeah, it looks painful. Bad, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it yeah. Was. I felt like I was sweating watching all of you try to. Do it. <laughs> it was a lot, and it was a hot, hot day. It was stinking hot. I remember just thinking to myself, "Please, someone bloody wins." <laughs> formed a friendship with Lara, but then she had to choose between you and Joel. And tell me about the pillow flip, because that was oh, interesting. Babe, what babe. was going through your mind? Well, I just hope that there's no future football games that use that tactic, because we'll never know what end anyone has, because if you don't call it, we're all just awkwardly standing there thinking, well, what's going on? And I will always remember that moment as being more dramatic and overcomplicated than what it should have because of the built-up. Um, but l- let's be honest, Amber, I'm no threat. Look at Joel. He's good to look at. He's physically strong. Why wouldn't anyone just be like, you know what, Mel, I love you. I think you're a beautiful, beautiful, kind-hearted girl, but I've got to go with my instinct and just pick Joel. Because the pillow talking makes me think that my pillows are neglecting me at home because they don't talk to me. They do not tell me anything. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You, so you should maybe flip your pillows and just see what it would land on for any decision you need to make. Yeah, well, yeah that's why, That's how I worked out whether or not I was going to have chai or a milkshake. This morning. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> what did you choose? <laughs> I chose chai because uh, a milkshake is just too naughty too early in the morning. I'll wait for the weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Good way to go about it. <laughs>